Hello friends, in this part, we're going to add some movements. First, let's make the car dancing. Before that, let's create another script, which will be responsible for the entire game. Back to the car script, we need a reference to the DoTween library to animate the car. We're going to need some references to the rigid body, and the car's body. For the animation, all we need is to animate the Y position of the car's body. And make the animation infinite using set loop minus 1, and use a yo-yo animation effect. Now hit save, and let's back to the editor. As you can see, we only need to animate the Y position like that. Now, the car is ready to move to the park. For the car movements, let's back to the car script, and add some functions. This move function, will take a path, and animate the car through that path. The set look at method will make sure that the car is always facing the path while moving. Let's open the game script. We need to make this script as a singleton. The first thing, is to save ready routes. Whenever a car and then a park are connected, we need to add that route to ready routes list. 
Later we will move the cars only if all the routes are in the list. We need to store total routes too. And by the way all the routes in the editor are children of the game game object. The register route method is responsible for adding routes to ready routes list. Each time we add a new route, we have to check if all routes are added. If true, then we should start moving all the cars at the same time. To do that, we have to loop through all the registered routes, and access the move method of the cars. Here, we need to create another variable inside the route, to store line points. But first let's back to lines drawer script. Let's create an event, to notify other scripts that a park is linked to a car, and send the route and the path as parameters. Inside the onMouseUp handler method, and before disactivating the route, let's invoke that event, and pass the route and the line points. Back to the game script, let's create this line points variable, in the route script. We need to listen to the event created earlier in the lines drawer script, to fill the line points variable. To make sure that we execute this only on the linked route, we need this if statement. Next. 
save the line points, and register that route in the ready routes list of the game script. To sum up, the first thing is to listen to on park link to line event. Register that route. Inside the register route method, we check if all the routes are registered. If true, then move all the cars using the move method of the car script. Now let's test this. Assign the references. And add the game game object to hold the routes. See, everything is working perfectly. And that's all for this video, and see you again in the next part.